Hi guys, welcome to Simplifying Tech and Programming. So in today's session, we are going to check how we can install the latest version that is a 7.0.1 version of MongoDB onto Windows operating system and how we can install the Mongo Compass as well. That is a GUI tool in order to access your data of MongoDB. And then we can, how we can configure and use the MongoDB shell in order to perform some crude operations like we have to read fetch data from database and we have to insert data update data and delete data from mongodb database so we already have a mongodb playlist into our channel so that you can explore the mongodb part here so we have covered all operations related to mongodb and java so you can visit this uh, playlist and you can explore this. Okay, so what is the agenda for today? So first, like uh, we will uh, download the community edition of MongoDB 7.0.1 and we will install that uh, into Windows operating system along with the Mongo Compass installation. Then uh, we can download the MongoDB shell and uh, we can set the environmental variables for MongoDB shell and how we can use the MongoDB shell to create the database, to correct, create the collections, update, delete operations. So that is basically read and write operations that can be performed into MongoDB database. So let's go to your favorite browser and MongoDB download. Okay, so first link, hit the first link. Okay, it is a MongoDB community edition. So this is a free edition. So we can use for the development purpose. So you can see uh, in uh, September 2023, so 7.0.1 version is the latest one. So you have to select the MSI package. So there is a zip package also available, but uh, we have to run MongoDB as a service. So we are choosing this MSI package and let's say download. Okay, so it is started downloading. Okay, so our installer is downloaded. So let's double click to install this. Okay, so it is saying welcome to MongoDB 7.0.1 setup wizard. So click on next. So select I accept license agreement. Here we have to choose this uh, setup type as a like a complete wizard we need to install. So we need to install MongoDB as a service or so run service as a network service user. So don't change anything here. So keep the service name as a MongoDB only. Say next. Install MongoDB compass. So that is required. So select as default. So click on install. Okay, so our MongoDB Community Edition server is installed and it is installed MongoDB Compass also. So this is a Compass default UI. So here uh, it is connecting to this URI with the port name as a 27017. Okay, so don't change here anything. Just click on connect. We can see there are uh, some databases which are available. Okay, so we here like uh, by using MongoDB Compass, so we can create the database also. So here, if you can see this plus sign, click on this. So it is asking to create the database. So let's say sample DB collection, sample collection, okay, and create database. So it is a created uh, this sample DB database and this sample DB collection also. We can add the data by using insert document. Insert. So you can see the data is inserted like this underscore ID and name like this. So we will perform some crude operations so that we, we will do by using a Mongo SH. So we need to go to this uh, download page again and uh, we need to go to this tools options. And here if you can see this MongoDB shell. So just click on this MongoDB shell in order to download and install mongodb shell so it is so mongodb shell is the quickest way to connect with the mongodb and uh, we can easily query the data configuration settings and execute other actions with the extensible command line interface okay so this is the windows 64 bit version so we have only available as a zip package so the version is this so let's click on download so in our case we have already downloaded so copy this to our uh, mongodb server directory so go to 
program files mongodb server 7.0 mongodb shell zip file so it is asking for you need to provide the default administrator permissions so let's say continue okay so now here it is uh, copied so just extract this okay okay so our uh, zip file is extracted so now let's copy this path and we have to set the environmental variables so go to start panel and type env so it is giving option to like uh, edit system environmental variable click on this so go to environmental variables and locate the path and say edit here click on new and paste this path till bin and say okay okay so now let's say okay 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 so go to this bin folder type cmd and uh, type mongo tv type mongo sh and click so you can see so it is connecting to this uh, mongodb local host and this same port 27017 and it is uh, using MongoD mongodb 7.0.1 mongo sh 1.10.6 and uh, it is by default it is like uh, creating this test database okay so now show dbs say show dbs means it will show all the database present here so you can see all the database here so we have created this sample db some time back we will create one more database use stack stack db okay so it will create one stack db named database okay so it is saying switch to stack db so now we are into uh, this database okay so copy this and let's say enter in order to insert so it is acknowledged as a true so it is a inserted so now let's say show collections so it is showing the collection as a record db okay so now insert one more document then uh, age eight years so this is acknowledged true insert one more age is 10 years okay so we have inserted three documents okay so we can use insert many as well to insert uh, many document at one time so it might be uh, like uh, you can uh, do this as an assignment so we are not covering this so we are covering only basic operations so now this uh, find operation so from read so we need to find this let's go here and type this db dot record db dot find so we should get all three records okay so you can see all three records we got first is a marsh then tony then jack okay so age is also six eight ten so now suppose we need to find particular one document so we can find the one document as well so like uh, we can find this uh, age equal to eight years okay so go here and uh, instead of uh, dot find so in in the find so you can give the field name or value name as a eight years so it should return this uh, tony one okay so you can see so it is written only one document with the age as a eight years so here we have mentioned age as a eight years so it is written the required document so now it is pending with update and delete so let's try for update so here are the update operations so we can update one record we can update many record or we can use the replace instead of update also okay so we are uh, covering only update one okay so this is the update query so what we are doing here so we are updating this document with the name as a marsh with this change in the address okay so you can see previously the marsh address is 380 w f i r a so now the address is changing so okay so you can see uh, like acknowledge as a true and matched count one and update uh, modified count one 
CLS and now okay so you can see the address is changed to this one from that uh, the previous address was this this 3 380w and uh, the current address is this uh, this 451 coffee so the address is changed for marsh okay <clears throat> so this is this covers the update so we can use update many also this is the syntax so this is the assignment for you so you can try it you can try the replace one also then now we are left with delete operations so we can delete any one of the record so we can delete any one record so copy this say clear and just paste it and we can delete name equal to tony okay so deleted one record so now let's verify so we have three documents so we should left with two documents only okay so tony name document is deleted only we have two documents left uh, that is uh, one is with the name marsh and one is na with name jack okay the delete operation is also successful so we can use uh, the query criteria also so like uh, if we want suppose this is a number so we can use uh, greater than so we can use dollar gp to find the uh, age greater than 18 like this so this is the query query criteria so now so we can use query criteria for update also or delete also we can use query criteria like this okay so so this way we can perform the basic crude operations on mongodb by using mongo sh so whatever data we have inserted we have seen while crude operations that is we can visualize via this ui tool also so just go to this mongo compass and uh, click on refresh so you can see this uh, stack db and this uh, record db and we can verify this these two objects are here two documents that one is with the name marsh and one is with name jack okay so we can see into json document format also so these are json documents and uh, you can export more this is the uh, like uh, like sql table also we can visualize this but basically json document so now you can play with uh, this data or uh, you can add more data and you can uh, explore this more so to summarize with so we have covered like how we can install mongodb community edition along with mongodb compass and how we can perform crude operations by using mongo sh so all these uh, links for this crude operation examples and uh, this demonstration links so i will add into video description Stay tuned for further interesting sessions and uh, please subscribe for uh, many more such contents and thanks a lot for watching.